Should we continue in sin that grace may abound? Absolutely not. This is what the Apostle Paul said. And when we come into the faith, when we become believers, we need to change our ways. It's not enough to say that God's grace is good or sufficient, as many people like to take out of context. As a Christian, as a follower of the true and living God, we have to separate ourselves from the sinful ways of this world. We can no longer pursue unrighteousness, but faith and love and holiness. That is our purpose. That is why we are here. We're here to be the example that Christ has commanded us to be, to walk as a salt in the light of the earth. We cannot say we follow the true Messiah, and yet we live just like the world. We can't show up to these same events and venues and participate in wicked things. We are called to be these separate come from among them. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15 through 16, the Apostle Paul says, Walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Thousands of years ago, the Apostle Paul wrote this. If the time was evil then, imagine what it is today. We have men who want to be women. We have men who think they can have birth. This is deception and evil at the highest degree. Worse than it was in Sodom and Gomorrah, and worse than it was when Noah got in the ark because the earth was going to be flooded. We need to know the truth and walk in the truth and be obedient. Be the light and salt of the earth when we're commanded to. This is the purpose of the faith. This is why we come out of the world. Our job is to live holy and righteous. We are to live holy before a holy God. We can't live how we want to live. We can't stay in the world. We can't continue to participate in the things of the world and think that God is okay. He is pleased. The Bible tells us that if we receive the knowledge of the truth and yet we deliberately continue to live contraries the only thing that we can expect is the wrath of god we're going to have to endure the same punishment of those who refuse to even come into the faith let's be obedient in this season many people are being deceived many false christs are rising up showing great signs and wonders fooling the mass we can't follow that same path we have to be different we have to be separated from the world we have to put the holy spirit at the forefront of our lives and when that conviction comes for us to live holy and righteous, we accept it. We walk according to it. The Word of God is designed to navigate us through this life. So that way we don't have to live outside of the will of God, but live according to His truth. This is the will that He has for us, for His children, those who are called, those who accept the decision to come out of the world. Now we just have to stay out of the world with the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Christ is coming, and when He comes, He's looking for faith. He's not looking for people who did what they want to do who chose the life they want to choose, we are to obey. We are to keep his commandments. This is what Christ said. If we love him, we're going to hold on to him. We may not perfect him because we live in his flesh. But when we fall, we get back up and we go boldly to the throne of grace to obtain grace and mercy to help in a time of need. Let's be obedient. Let's do what he's commanded us to do. This is the season for the children of God to rise up, be the difference throughout the entire world. You guys have a phenomenal day, and remember, always be blessed.